The majority of patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF, also have obesity. Terzepatide, a long-acting agonist of glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide and glucagon-like peptide 1 receptors, causes considerable weight loss in patients with obesity. A new trial examines whether it also improves cardiovascular outcomes in patients with obesity and heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. In this international double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial, 731 adults with chronic heart failure, preserved ejection fraction, and obesity were assigned to receive terzepatide subcutaneously at a dose of up to 15 mg per week, or placebo, in addition to usual therapy. The composite primary endpoint was the cumulative incidence of death from cardiovascular causes or a worsening heart failure event, resulting in hospitalization, intravenous therapy in an urgent care setting, or intensification of oral diuretic therapy. During a median follow-up of two years, death from cardiovascular causes or a worsening heart failure event occurred in 9.9% of the patients in the terzepatide group and 15.3% of those in the placebo group, a significant difference. Another primary endpoint was the change in the Kansas City Cardiomyopathy Questionnaire Clinical Summary Score, which ranges from 0 to 100, with higher scores indicating better quality of life. At 52 weeks, the terzepatide group had significantly greater improvement in this score, with a mean change from baseline of 19.5 points, as compared with 12.7 points in the placebo group. Non-fatal adverse events leading to discontinuation were mainly gastrointestinal in nature and occurred more often in the terzepatide group. The authors conclude that in patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and obesity, treatment with terzepatide led to a lower risk of a composite of death from cardiovascular causes or worsening heart failure than placebo and improved health status. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.